My name is Todd Meyer. Uh, I am the art instructor here at Highlands. I teach uh, anything flat, so anything in two dimensions, drawing, painting, printmaking, watercolor. I do art appreciation and art history as well. My favorite part about teaching at Highlands is the students. Uh, we've got a really good student population here. It's fun to have them on campus, which you don't always get for a community college. The art room is open late at night, so there's kind of a community that develops with the kids as they come in after hours and work on stuff and work on their own stuff and use the supplies. And I just think that's a really special connection that we get to have with the art students here. So studio art class is about uh, an hour and 50 minutes. And usually for mine, we get in and we talk for a little bit of first, what did we do for homework? What did we remember what we did from the day before? You talk with your peers a lot as well. Um, showing your work to them is just as important or if not more important than showing it to me. They are your future colleagues in the art world. And uh, after we're done talking, we start working and that's kind of how class goes. We, we work and we discuss and we work and we discuss and try to make each other and ourselves better and uh, more honed in on what we're trying to do. For art, we have a few interesting opportunities to get involved outside of class. I have a number of student workers that help monitor the art room after hours for me, so that's one way to kind of be involved with art. We also sometimes have students who help run the Yoast Gallery here. We have Art Club, which meets twice a month, and we watch videos, movies, we talk about art, we make masks for Halloween. Uh, we do all kinds of art-related things. Sometimes we even take field trips and go to different art museums and places and look at stuff. The skills that you can learn through taking art in Highlands will be useful to you in many different aspects of your life. Uh, we learn critical thinking, we learn to, th to th think about the things that we're ma we make, how things are represented, uh, why they're represented that way. We even look critically at why art history is the way it is, why is it structured the way it's structured, and what can we learn from that, and how, how can we change things and make things different. So you'll get a very critical eye that you can use to look at and analyze uh, the way that the world is structured as well as works of art. One of the important things about moving on from Highland and going to another school, whether you go right after or if you take a while, that's okay too, is developing a portfolio. So your next school is gonna wanna see what kind of art you can make, and that's gonna help you get a really good scholarship. So while you're here, you have the opportunity to take uh, the intro level of classes, but also in advanced as well. So painting, watercolor, drawing, ceramics, all offer a ceramics two, drawing two, etc. that allow you to really hone in on your specific skills and also your specific vision in order to make uh, and create a portfolio that's helpful to you. We offer a class called Portfolio Prep that you can take your third semester, which helps you Take pictures, catalog everything that you've made, put it all together in a really nice portfolio case and also create a website for yourself where you can have your works of art there. So it's really a program that can help you get into the school that you want to get into and kind of launch that next step in your artistic career. So we have a drafting slash painting room that has nice drafting tables we use for two-dimensional design, we use for painting and drawing, and we have a storage room slash printmaking room that has our own printmaking press inside. So that means when you take printmaking, you get to do woodblock, but also intaglio processes. We do etching and aquatint. A good benefit about Highland 2 is the Yost Gallery. Uh, Walter Yost was a very famous, very influential instructor of art here. And we named the gallery after him. And we have about uh, four to six shows a year of artists from the area, as well as that's where the student show is. And sometimes the faculty here will show some things that they've made as well.